Hey everyone, I'm Kari DeFalco and we're kicking off summer in the Cucina by making fried zucchini blossoms. zucchini blossoms from Bracco Farms in Pine Island, New York. Thank you so much, Tony. We appreciate it as always. They are gorgeous. So when you look for these at your farmer's market or in the stores, again, it's just the flower itself. It's going to have a real orange petal. And if it has a little baby zucchini at the bottom of it, that's fine. These are all female flowers. This one I'll probably fry whole. What I'll do with these, the larger ones, is I'll cut the flower off and then I'll slice up the zucchini part and we'll batter and fry that as well. But these are my absolute favorite. I'm obsessed with the zucchini in the summertime and they are so delicious. Delicious. This is a true Italian classic. The batter for these could not be easier. I am estimating that I'm going to get about two dozen pieces from all this. I've got about one dozen here, and when I chop up those zucchini, I'll probably get another 12 out of them. The batter is going to be one cup of all-purpose flour, a teaspoon of salt, we're going to add in one egg and a half cup of seltzer water, not flavored at all, just uh, bubbly water. We want this to be a really light batter because the flowers are so delicate. We don't want to weigh them down too much, so everything's got to be nice and airy. Now these are all female flowers, which is why they had the baby zucchinis at the ends of them. A lot of times the recipes will tell you to open them up and pull the uh, stamen out of the center of it. Doesn't bother me, and I tend to destroy my flowers because I'm a little bit clumsy, so I happen to enjoy it. I just leave it be. The whole plant is edible, so why not? I have my assembly line already. I have my flowers, my batter. I've got about a half inch of canola oil over medium high heat in the pan. It's kind of starting to pop a little bit, so it's ready to go. And I've got a paper towel lined plate uh, ready to put my fried zucchini flowers on, as well as my spider to get them out of the oil with. So we're ready to get started. Just sprinkle your finished flowers with a bit of sea salt and you have my all-time favorite summer snack. That's it for this week in the Cucina. Listen guys, if you liked this recipe, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. You'll always know every week when we post up our new recipes. We always have a new uh, dish for you every Friday and you can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I'll see you guys next time. Bon appetito.